in this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Moulin Rouge first opened in 1955, but today about all that's left is the charred remains you saw there. Mm -hmm. City investigators say there just aren't enough clues right now to really figure out the cause of that fire yet. Now, we do have live team coverage for you from the history of the hotel and the casino to the latest on the fire. Jonathan Humbert is live on West Bonanza. Well, Denise, it's history up in flames today, and now that 53-year-old building coming crashing to the ground. Within just the last few minutes, this earth mover has been brought in by the property owners to completely demolish this portion of the hotel, bring it completely to the ground. The entire second floor has collapsed because of how just widespread the flames have been. Now the iconic Moulin Rouge burning once again today. That four-alarm fire quickly escalated today just before noon. Crews had to use high-flying ladder trucks just to spray water on the flames because the Moulin Rouge was abandoned. High black gates made it difficult for crews to get into the ground. It's now crews from both Las Vegas and North Las Vegas had to work together to help. The 90-plus degree heat also made it very, very challenging. The reason so many firefighters had to be called out. We need those third and fourth alarms to come in to relieve the crews who are on the first and second alarm because of the difficult work that they're doing. Now, investigators still have not been uh, inside that building at this point. They're still checking to see what's happening. It appears that the extensive damage was on both floors. But again, all that thick, dangerous smoke, for the most part, has been completely taken out. We saw a little bit of flame there. But again, within just the last few minutes, this building is starting to come down. Again, we've got the fire hoses here working. But history itself coming to the ground today, that's been one of the biggest problems. Again, no answer on what's going to happen with this site and how history at this location is going to evolve. Reporting live, Jonathan Humber, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Okay, thanks, Jonathan. The Moulin Rouge has been part of the Las Vegas community for, for more than five decades, as we mentioned, but now it's been just reduced to rubble. And we continue our team coverage with Ken Smith in Sky Witness 8 right over the charred remains there. Ken, how's it looking? Well, right now, we've been watching demolition crews down below us actually just taking this hotel, what's left of it. The char remains apart bit by bit. Here's a live shot here in full high definition from Skywood to say, once again, this is going to be a long bonanza right between the area, the 15 freeway and MLK, and they're just going to start taking this thing a piece uh, and apart uh, one bit at a time here with that uh, tractor. And you can see the firefighters from the Las Vegas Fire Department, they're still, even at this hour, putting out hot spots. I want to show you our beat the traffic map and kind of show you this general area that we're we're talking about and talk about some of the road closures that we're going to be dealing with, including Bonanza itself. Bonanza is shut down. It is shut down in both directions from the 15 freeway to the east to right around MLK to the west. So you got to start thinking about alternate routes here. Let's go back out to our live shot here from Sky Witness 8. This is one possible alternate route that you could take. This is Washington, but Washington backed up pretty heavily as you travel on the westbound side. A lot of folks are trying to avoid Bonanza. They don't really have much choice. So you might want to consider going up to uh, Lake Mead as your east and westbound alternate route. But once again, we're continuing to follow this team coverage of uh, breaking news that happened just a little bit earlier this morning, right around 11 o'clock. And believe it or not, firefighters still out here trying to put out these hot spots. But this hotel that was opened back in 1955 lost forever. Reporting live in Skywood to say right over the Moulin Rouge Hotel, I'm Ken Smith, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. All right, Ken. Well, it did get up into the 90s today, and the heat was certainly a major factor in fighting the fire at the Moulin Rouge. We want to continue our live team coverage now with Amanda Hernandez. Amanda? Well, Denise, heat really is playing a factor in this fire. Now, let me show you. This is a rehab area that you see here behind me. Firefighters are sitting there against the building just trying to take advantage of some shade. This is where they are brought after they've been fighting this fire for just about 15 minutes because they really can't spend many hours inside those suits, especially in this heat. So they come here to cool off and then get ready for another round. But then you get tired and they need to rotate the crews through. So they bring the crews that have been fighting the fire out to a rehab area in the shade, get some fans on them. Uh, they have paramedics there who can check them out and uh, they give them water, rehydrate them. They have power bars, water. The Red Cross is out here helping to bring plenty of supplies to these firefighters. We have been talking to some of them. They say that the heat really is playing a factor as far as how much time they can spend in there. They say they usually go through about one tank of air, and that's when they basically tag out. And then they, another crew goes in. They come out. They take a rest. Paramedics are standing by to check their vitals, make sure they are doing okay. They say, of course, the safety of the crews are the most important thing when fighting this fire. And then as we reported earlier, there was about a hundred firefighters 
firefighters at one point out here. The reason they needed so much manpower is again because they have to constantly transition between the teams because they can only spend so long in there with all that heavy equipment in this heat. For now, reporting live, Amanda Nundish, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Well, you know, in a town that uh, implodes buildings, seems like left and right, you know, when it's done with them, the Moulin Rouge really has managed to kind of remain standing at least until today. Well, it grew up in an era of the United States when civil rights was a whole different whole yeah. different thing then. And Gary Waddell here with a look back at the, some of the history, Gary. David, these hits hung, hung on longer than most in Las Vegas, longer than most of us would have even predicted. Even so, it was hard to watch it burn today. It is truly a major part of Las Vegas history. The Moulin Rouge opened in May of 1955, the only hotel that that welcomed Southern Nevada's African-American community. That jumped every night. We would all jam and have plenty of fun. Bob Bailey was the master of ceremonies at the Moulin Rouge in the 1950s. His wife, Anna, one of the club's dancers. The Moulin Rouge made Las Vegas history. Because it was the only place where people of various cultures could congregate. It was the only racially integrated hotel in the valley, and it played host to the stars. Belafonte and Sinatra and Sammy. When the Moulin Rouge came to West Las Vegas, it brought new life with it. New homes and businesses sprung up. When the club closed, the neighborhood around it fell on hard times as well. There were a number of efforts to reopen the club, but one of the latest was dashed by the fire in 2003 that destroyed the main building. And they say it burned down the same as to see one of the children getting into trouble. We want to see it before we catch a cab. Today's fire has probably removed any hope of ever seeing the Moulin Rouge rise from the ashes. The complex has been declared a hazard and have been closed to the public for years. Today's fire is probably the final blow. The Moulin Rouge will live on now only through pictures and those iconic signs that were saved and moved to the neon bone, boneyard. You know, it was really hard, David Denise, you were here with me to sit yeah. and watch it burn today. Mm -hmm. But it's also been very hard to watch it decline mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, go through what it's gone through over the years too so I mean we're not putting it out of its misery but yes. still it was it was tough to watch mm -hmm.